Let's head back to Berkshire, but first, let's jump on the Bakerloo line from Piccadilly Circus. Cue the intro. Here we are, welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim. We are on the Bakerloo line and we're heading down to Piccadilly Circus and get on the Bakerloo line, as I said, to Waterloo. So we're heading to the Bakerloo. As you know, a lot of invisible walls around here, so can't remember which ones we can and can't get through on Train Sim World, uh, but we'll head down here. We've got more escalators to come. Let's go down the next set of escalators to platform one and two. Okay. So we are going northbound. Are we going northbound? No, we're going southbound. So we're not going to Baker Street. We're not going to Paddington. We're not going to Queen's Park. We're not going to Harrow and Wildstone. We're heading towards Charing Cross, Waterloo, Lambeth North, Elephant and Castle. Let's get down these steps. This is poss probably, possibly where we get the steps going up and down. But look at the... Uh, Look at the tar work on this. It's pretty amazing, isn't it? It's good how they've recreated it on Trains and Mod 2. I think that was two years ago now. Two years ago since we had uh, Trains and Mod 2 with our Bakerloo line. And uh, we're already looking forward to Trains and Mod 3 coming out in September. Let's just wait for the train. Three minutes. It's probably just one that's just left, but three minutes to the next one. Not 15 or 20 minutes or an hour. Three minutes. And we'll head to Waterloo and then catch a Southwest Railway back to Bracknell. Well, actually, we're going further, but yeah, back to Berkshire. If you remember when we were on the last video, we saw the Bakerloo line. This is the platform that we we're standing on over there, looking over to here. Can't wait for sparks. Possibly won't get them on Bakerloo because it is a Tracer World 2 route. But I can't wait to see it on future Trains in World 3 routes. That's going to be nice, isn't it? Definitely. And here it comes. Just the gap. The gap that you've got. It comes in at quite some speed. I know we're at the back which doesn't help. But yeah, there is a bit of a gap there, but we are going to be getting on uh, on this service here. Let's go out, let's get on board. The doors open before you've even got out. So everyone that keeps complaining, why do you open your doors so quickly, Mega Sim? Well, on the Bakerloo line, they open them up before you stop. So heading to the trains. So yeah, this is uh, Waterloo. So we'll watch this train leave. As long as we can get out. Ooh. And off she goes. Well, if we go quick enough. Just want to see this cab bit. Look at that. This is the cab bit. Right, we've got 10 minutes. Head up to platform number 23. Let's go. And this is Waterloo. So we've got seven minutes to get to our train, so let's just have a quick look. So that's where you would go up to Waterloo East. Uh, there used to be a Burger King around here. Yeah. This is the uh, this is the board. Eighteen twenty, up from twenty three. So yeah, let's head to twenty three. So this is the old Waterloo International for the Eurostar. This was all covered. We kind of had to go downstairs into customs to then go up onto the platform. This has all been opened up. Which is just 
really weird to see. Because last time I was here properly, you know, it was all sealed. And now look at it. Got that down there. But yeah, we're heading to platform 23. We got five minutes till our train leaves. Not sure what train we're going to get yet. We'll uh, find out. Hopefully it's not a 450. Hopefully it's something else. But yeah, 23 to Reading. But stopping at all the stops to waking up. So we are on a 450. Uh, on a 450 all the way. Going to get there at 1927. So an hour and seven minutes. We've got the old Southwest train stagecoach livery at the back. And then at the front is the new stuff. But it looks like the inside is uh, being SWRified. Just not the outside paint. Yeah, we're heading to Reading. Right, let's try and find a seat. Climb aboard, we've got four minutes. So just keep going to the front because people are lazy. Even though there's a big crowd, we want to get a seat. So there's a 458. Looks like it's mainly Darth Vader. See, look, that one is the standard one. And the ones that glass all the way through are like the Darth Vader pictures. I never remember what it's called. Yeah, that. So you've got the standard one there. And then you've got these ones with the glass. They're the ones from the Gatwick Express days. I hope I'm right in saying that. Yeah, 18, 19. Well, I was trying to be nice, but somebody else has taken a space. It was like one last chair and I went, no, I'll leave it so the lady can have some room and nope, some guy has sat down on it. I think it's time to go now. Let's head back. Where's the beep, 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 beep? Must be coming in a minute now. 20 past. It's just turned 20 past. That's probably the one that leaves it in half an hour. I'm not going to wait that long. Right, let's get back. They're so ugly. They really are. Such an ugly train. Yeah, so I'm standing at the moment. It might, you know, ease off later, I don't know. It's, you know, it's a rush hour train, so it's absolutely packed. People are standing and all sorts. So yeah, not sure how long this video will be, because it is busy. Um, but yeah, if I spot anything... Good evening, gentlemen, it's your guard speaker. Welcome aboard this Southwestern Railway Service to Reading. We'll be calling a Clapham Junction, Richmond, Twickenham, Felton, Staines, Ego, Virginia Water. Long Cross, Sunnydale, Ascot, Mites, Heron, Bracknell, Waken and Winnish, when it's Triangle, Early and Reading. First about time arrival, Reading is 43 minutes past seven. Any passengers for Long Cross needs to be in the front seven coaches on this eight coach train if you're to a short platform at this station. Safety information is better than all coaches. If you see anything suspicious, when anyone acting suspiciously, please tell myself one of member of staff. I'm currently in the middle of this eight coach train, on this platform. Please stop me if you need any help. Next time on this service will be Clapham Junction. Thank you. See it say it's sorted. Interesting. Let's see it on all other services. Why not this one? All over the place. So yeah, that track there, the one at the end, that was the Eurostar track. So it would always come in to London uh, from there. Um, and then, yeah, it would go up there and head over to the southeastern route. Uh, until it got to Ashford, and then it would go on the uh, CTRL, the Channel Tunnel Rowling, to Paris, Gare du Nord, etc. etc. Uh, we're just going under there, and yeah, look, there's uh, Battersea Power Station. And I think that's the southeastern uh, services there, that bridge. Oop. 
<laughs> Try and get catch my balance there. I should just lean on the wall. Yeah, you got southern stuff. There's not much going on over there. I wanted to go this side this time. You know, see if we can catch something uh, this side of the train, which is a good way of doing it. Flats, apartments, all sorts going on. Oh, bum, I've just looked over and I just saw the thank you NHS Southern. Is oh, here for that's annoying. I saw the thank London you NHS one. There's the overground. And mind the yeah, coming into uh, Clapham now, Clapham Junction. We just love the 378s, don't we? So yeah, the service does have a first class, but it's de, de um, thingied, declassified. Here we are, Clapham Junction. Quite a large, quite a large chunk left. Uh, Tucking them. Let's see if we can see the rugby stadium. I can't remember if you can see it from the station. Signal, signal. See, we don't have a train manager on board. We have a guard. East Midlands train manager. Southwest guard. think it is this side. If it isn't, I am totally wrong. I can never remember what side it is. Yeah, it's probably the other side. Yeah. As I said on the last video, I've never been to Twickenham by a train, only in the car. Next line of service is Feltham. Feltham is the last off. Yeah, Oyster Guard, free departing and contact us paper travel. If you are trying to be on Feltham, you're using both the payment you will need to buy an extension. Next line of service is Feltham. Feltham is the last off. Oyster Guard, free departing and contact us paper travel. Thank you. See out here? Did I see it? No. No, I didn't see it. I thought I did. Unless I saw a quick glimpse of it. Look on the map, see if uh, see what side Twickenham is, the uh, rugby stadium, to the train station. It was this side, but just too far over. But yeah, it was this side, the, the side that I was on originally. Just too far. It kind of curves around, it kind of curves around like that and then to Witten and then back again. So, didn't get to see it. Oh well, doesn't matter. It's only a rugby stadium. into Feltham, home of Ethan Afro. Um, that was an A320 to Palma de Mallorca. Oh, St. Giles Hotel. Lovely stuff. But yeah, mm. over there is Heathrow. Why? Oh, it's an area signaling yeah. centre there. Ooh, buses. It's so now the plane taking off. Look at that, they're going up quite steep, aren't they? Trying to get out of here. He's venturing north. That was to Stockholm. The next one, I've forgotten already, Madrid. The next one that will be taken off is going to Madrid. 
Yeah, this is Feltham. You've got to say Feltham, not Feltham. Feltham. Well, that's what I, what I always call him. Just always have done. Because I'm weird. Are we going to see that plane? Can I see the one to Madrid? Possibly not. Next stop, Staines. Home to Thorpe Park. Well, there it is. So you know what I mean about this being on Trains in World. It's a good route to have. Low stops. Not great speed, but a good stops. Uh, hopefully a mixture of older trains, slam doors, of course. And other type types of trains. Maybe some NSE. Network Southeast, or if not, Southwest Train Stagecoach, that would be nice. It's the Bellman Portman, just missed it. I think it was the Bellman. Um, but yeah, so we got caught the back of it, caught the back of it. Had no idea that was coming. So that one came from Bath and is going to London, Victoria. That's the, end. That's the only bit of information I can give you because that's all I can get. Let's have a look, you can get the 950 from Staines to Thorpe Park Express, £3 single, £4 return. It used to be £10. Rip off. But now, yeah, it's a lot cheaper. Maybe they've cottoned on and gone, yeah, let's have a decent service going there instead of somebody ripping people off. So yeah, coming into Staines now. Home of Thorpe Park. Stealth. Colossus. Soul the Ride. A lot of others as well. Mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. It was raining again. There wasn't anything there earlier. No trains here earlier in the depot, so they're all out. So we are sitting down now. Got a nice table. Yeah. Nice table there. This is the leg room you get. Let me sit back. There we go. Like room you get on this one on the uh, single chairs, you know. On the way here, we have the double the three set station, back to back. Safety information is available to all coaches. If you see anything suspicious, when anyone acting suspiciously, please tell myself and a member of staff. I'm probably going to be in the front half of this eight coach train for Spanish platform. It's wonderful for the train to your journey. Please stop me if you need any help. Next time on the service, we'll be Egham. Thank you. Egham. Just caught it. Going through Egham. I just heard this. I was like, quick. It's on its own, though. We're zooming along quite quickly now, up to Sunningdale. So yeah, we kind of come over to the M3 and then go back under. Next station is well, I say we go over, we didn't go under anyway. We were this side, but now we're going over under the M3 and go into Sunningdale. Probably already gone under the M3, knowing my fortune itself. Um, but yeah, coming into Sunningdale. Forgot about the level crossing. There used to be a building there that's long gone. It used to be quite a big, like, two-storey building. But yeah, it's not there anymore. These are weird, aren't they? Those yellow things keeping them down. Yeah, Sunningdale. Let's see where the extensions have happened. Just to kind of fit the uh, eight-car services. Coming into Ascot, home of the Ascot Racecourse. It's a weird station this is, it's kind of out of the way. You've still got to kind of go up the hill to get to uh, the racecourse.
So there are the uh, other seats, the three set of three. So you get a load of sets of threes, and then you get your sets of twos uh, this side. Yeah, at Ascot, as you, as you know, we've got the uh, tables, both sides. We did get the uh, tickets checked by the guard earlier. That was quite fun. He had his phone and it just took him ages. It was like tapping the screen to try and focus. It took him ages to scan my my ticket. But I know, you know, South East and all that are changing the way that they do it, using scanners instead, because yeah, some of those scanners that they're using are really bad, really naff. Especially when you're moving along on a train like this and you're like, just, just scan the, scan the QR code. <laughs> now approaching Martin's Heron. This is kind of what I'm used to all these trees the in Bracknell. Just used to it. Well, I say used to it, it's all getting cut down and houses are being built instead. Um, but yeah, here we go with the um, Tesco and the car park at the beginning. You kind of go up over the bridge, left at the roundabout, and then in, and then yeah. So there's the bridge. There's Martin's Heron, there's the car park down there and the drive to the drop-off point. Here's the Tesco. See, this is a new bit. I just remember it stopping there. So this is like a new bit that they've built on years later. Um, but I remember like the doctor surgery and stuff being there. That wasn't my doctor surgery. But they've uh, filmed a couple of Tesco ads here because uh, I don't know if I've updated it, but back in the day, they weren't allowed to open Sunday. Um, I thought it was originally like a church land, but I think it was the train network rail, National Rail that owned the land and they said you're not allowed to open Sunday. So they used to have like car boots and also Sunday if they didn't have anything they would film the adverts in the suit in the store and outside. So there was one which was um, a trolley that moved, um, it was kind of like animated and that was filmed here at Martin's Heron. And there also was a Tesco home uh, in Bracknell and they did, they filmed something in that car park as well where the point is. Which I thought was quite cool. But yeah, it's always been like this on stilts. I've kind of always been used to that, not the old-fashioned brick. It was always stilts, so something that was kind of created when the suburbs and you know all those extra houses were being built. I guess it wasn't available. You know, it wasn't there when it was first built. You had Bracknell working and all that, but not not Martin's Heron. Yeah, started to head towards Bracknell and then pop over to uh, Wokingham because it was just a bit easier for Mrs. Megasim to uh, pick me up. Let's go over the bridge next to the running horse. Oh, the running horse is up there. I'm just trying to think where I am. Harmer's Water now, aren't I? Yeah. Bracknell, Harmer's Water, around here. It's nice that we get to go over the bridge um, towards Wokingham. I don't know why I'm still playing this clip. I'm still on the same clip, but it's all right, it's all right. We'll get there. The next station is Bracknell. Bracknell. Yeah, we're not getting off. But I might move seats. Let's move seats. So yeah, coming into Bracknell. Um, so you used to kind of go under the tunnel back there, but look, they've extended this out this way. Uh, so you don't go under the bridge and there's no additional steps down there. Um, so you do have that, but I am in first class. Look at this, you've got the air charge to charge your phone. The seats are really uncomfy compared to standard class, really uncomfy. So you have this, which is quite cool. See, there's not much room. And it's not as comfy as standard class. It's quite hard. The seats are quite hard. But I'm going to try and charge. Let's try and charge. Yeah, let's charge him. <laughs> 
have that but there's only two so you've got one two three four seats but only two chargers and what's really weird is you've got this here but on the other side you don't you don't have it on the other side yeah very interesting you do have the uh curtains though and uh lights BA is where the um, the old Tesco home used to be, like at the point. So there's the point with the old Odeon. Used to be a UCI cinema. There's Morris's, used to be Safeway. Pound Derpy Carpet, sorry, that used to be. No, that wasn't Focus, was it? I think it was further down. Uh, but you've got this bridge here, which is nice. You've got Arlington Square with the water feature. Yeah, you've got the weird roundabout that was there. Uh, my old school buses, they uh, they used to be down here, down the back here of this uh, industrial estate. Not sure how far down. Maybe we've gone past them. Maybe it was there where the uh, wooden stuff were kind of kept. kept. <laughs> yeah, I think we've gone too far now. So on the left, we've got the A329M. Which then, yeah, goes into Wokenham. Or oh, heads to Wokenham and Reading. Oh, maybe that was it. Maybe that's where the buses were. Because I just saw some buses. Maybe Fern Hill is still there. That used to be, or it is Dell. Yep, still Dell. There it was, guys. Um, trying to remember who that was. HP. Bum, I've forgotten his name. I'll remember in a sec. But yeah, he said, uh, always oh, HP there, I think so. And uh, yeah, I think Dell are there as well. So yeah, Dell's still in Bracknell. Dell's still there. I've got the logo. You know, I can remember his logo. It's an ambassador. I'll remember his name in a minute. If not, I'll quickly look before we uh, go to the last clip, a few clips, and uh, end it. Tintin. That was it, Tintin. Just as I was bringing it up, I was like, it's Tintin, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, so that crossing had a load of gates on it, like a fence. So, not sure why that's like that. Maybe it's uh, been shut down. Look at that sky. Okay, coming into Wokingham. It's been a few years since I've been to Wokingham Station. And then, yeah, we'll end the video. Watch it go, of course. We're at the front. We're at the front of the train, so it won't take long to actually walk to the front and watch it go. But yeah, if I compared the seats, I prefer the standard class to first class. It's way too hard, way too hard. Let's try and do it, look. There's no give, no give at all in these seats. Not sure why we're waiting. Hopefully, there's not like a Great Western that's gone through. That'd be annoying if it had. Just missed it. Yeah, cutting over to go towards Gatwick. The next station is Wokingham. Wokingham. Was it an old bridge? Is it being done up or is it temporary? Not sure. 
and there's the old track I can see going towards Gatwick Airport. Oh, over we go. Okay. Coming into walking in here. Really rocky there. Bing, 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 bing. Here we go, woken him. Let's get off the train now then. Okay, here we are, Wokenham. Let's have a look at our train. Wokenham Permanent Way. Let's have a look at our train. There she is, 450081, if you're actually taking note. We arrived at about six minutes late. Not too bad. And then yeah. Oh, there's the signal. And let's go. Off she goes. Off to Reading. There we go, there she goes. Let's just check if there are any other trains coming in before we uh, end it, so just bear with me. Before I say my, before I say my goodbyes, let's check real-time trains. Now that is annoying. If our train was on time, we would have seen a class 165. The next one is well over half an hour. I'm not waiting here, because... Uh, I got a lift home. Well, I say home, you know what I mean. But no, thank you so much for watching. Never mind, maybe another time. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you care. Social media links are in the description below. This was Wokingham. This was the London Waterloo to Reading line. I know I only went as far as Wokingham. But there's only winners. Winners try I got early in Reading. Um, that's left on that. We'll do it on another video sometime. So I say soon, I don't know. It's just, you know, it takes time. And uh, things need to kind of slot into place to uh, be able to uh, do videos like this. Because originally this video was just gonna be from Derby. Derby to London St Pancras, then off to my customer. But things change. Come from Bracknell, going to Wokenham. Going to Brighton this week. Not getting the train. Now, originally I was gonna go Bracknell to Waterloo and then Victoria to Brighton and meet Mrs. Megasim there, but that's not happened. Things change, plans change. But yeah, I'll see you on the next video. This is Megasim. Out of here. See you soon, guys. Bye.